Hello, welcome to my channel Code Dynode. Today we will start learning about ArcGIS Runtime APIs. ArcGIS Runtime APIs are APIs that are used to build mapping, location, and GIS applications for phones, laptop, desktop, and other devices. These applications can view and edit maps and perform the analysis while offline and can directly access a device storage. Today, I will start a series of videos on ArcGIS Runtime SDK for Android. In this series, we will learn to build a mobile application that incorporate capability such as mapping, geocoding, routing, and other special analytics. The ArcGIS Runtime ap applications for Android use Kotlin or Java to build native applications that can deploy to Android operating system. In this course, we will use Java and Android Studio. The common capability that we can add to our app with the help of ArcGIS Runtime SDKs are Map, Layers, Services, Query and Edit, Route and Directions, Special and Data Analytics. For more example, you can download the Android applications for ArcGIS Runtime Simple Viewer from the Play Store. So before starting, let's check the system requirement for ArcGIS Runtime SDK. You can build your applications using IDE Android Studio and IntelliJ IDEA. Your application can run on an Android phone or tablet with higher version 6.0 which is Marshmallow and above. So let's install and set up the SDK. First, create a new project in the Android Studio. Let me open my Android Studio. So I just created an Android project, new project. So you can create a new project by using file, new and new project. In this Android project, first we have to add the dependencies and mavens and some basic permissions to run the application. So first, from the RGS Runtime API for Android, you can go to the Get Started. Then in, in the section of Gradle, in, in your project level, build.gradle file, we have to add the repository, our ESRI Maven. So just copy this Maven and let's go to the RGS code. In the latest Android version, we don't have repository in the build.gradle file. So for this, we have to paste this in setting.gradle under the maven central. The second thing that we have to do, we have to copy the dependency and paste it in build.gradle file. Check the minimum SDK should be 23 and the target SDK should be 31. So the next, next thing that we have to copy, we have to copy this compile option and paste it in the Android tag in the build.gradle app level. So latest in latest Android compile options is already added. We have to add one more permission here that is Packaging option. Now sync your project. In the activity.main file, remove this code and write map view, match parent, match parent, give it an ID. In 
main dot main activity dot java class first we have to call the map view with the id then we have to call the rgis map for creating a base map in this rgis map we have to pass we can use it in two different types first i will show you by using both the types the first method we can use we can have a base map base map type then we have the let longs here first we have to write the let and then we have to write the long and then we have to write the scale or you can say the level of detail then add this map to the map view this is a code to display a base map in the application so for using the base map we have to give the permission here uses permission of internet so now we are done we can run we, we can run our application on the emulator So we have the display map here and we have the base map with the location that we enter with the lat long. Now in the second line, now further, now we will create a base map without any lat long. So let's create the base map, arc map is equal to new arc map. Now we will create a base map and now we will run a replication again. Now we have a base map without any viewpoint. Now, in this case, we can also set the viewpoint for our application. First, we have to call the point. Please be noted, the point should be of com.esri.rgs runtime geometry file. This is the way we will call a point. First, we have to write the let. Sorry, first we have to write the long here. Then we will write latitude. Then we have to call the special references. Dot. We are using WGS84 here. So dot WGS84. Then we have to create a viewpoint. this we have to call the point the second parameter that we have to give is a scale so I am giving a scale of 21,000 then we will add this viewpoint to our map view so now let's run the application again So 
so now we have the base map with the viewpoint now the next thing that we are going to do we will set them we can set the viewpoint with a time duration or you can say a duration second to go to that point i'm going to enter 5 5 here now let's say run the application again so as you can see it will going within time duration we're using a second frame so that's all for today's class we will learn something by using the or you have any query so just ask me in the comment section thank you for watching please like and subscribe thank you